You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today we have a favorite back. We have Mary Waldron. Hi, Mary. Hey, Mark. How are you? Good. It's that time of year again. We are, and even though the shirt behind us says <laughs> the third annual John Waldron Wiffle Ball Tournament, it's the fourth. It is the fourth. Can't believe it's come up so fast. And, you know, time flies when you're having fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, so back at Campanelli. Yes, it again, is. Yes, it and is. And we're looking at July 25th. It is Saturday, July 25th. And um, again, it's our fourth annual uh, wiffle ball tournament. Um, open up for all the registrations open. Um, we have a little bit of uh, some incentives for those who are looking and thinking about it that if you register bef be before July 1st, mm -hmm. which is next week, um, your team's name gets into a lottery to for a suite. Um, at the Brockton Rocks for a Rocks game, um, inclusive of, of food, and, and you have to pay for your own alcoholic drinks. Okay. So, um, That's pretty good. But yeah, but it's, and, and last year we had about 45 teams that played, and it's gotten bigger it's every been, single year, and has. bigger and better, and uh, people have a lot of fun. That's an action packed weekend. It, it is, an it's action, right. Cape Verdean Festival the, the following day, the Cape Verdean Gala mm -hmm. dinner. Um, that's a good all, thing for Brockton. Oh yeah, well, it's a really good thing. A, anybody that says there isn't anything to do in this city, they're right. crazy. Right, right. They're well, absolutely crazy. That's what's good about your show because you talk about what's good about Brockton. People tune in. I tune in to hear what's going on because sometimes you don't read about things or not in tune by social media, and so I tune in to hear up all the good things that are going well, on. I love doing this. I like promoting community events, and that's what BCA does. So right, right. Um, the time of the event yes. itself, it, you start with the registration at 10. We do. Okay. Um, and and um, it is a process because we want to make sure everybody's there and getting people. We check off teams because then we have all the teams already in their brackets. This is like the... Uh, the, um, the March Madness mm -hmm. and, and everything else, but we put people in brackets and we play against each other. Um, we were doing this year the pre, um, we're going to be doing family members this year, um, John's brothers and sisters who <clears throat> may be getting a little bit um, further up in age and they can all yell at me later on, but um, that they're, we're going to do like a team um, against each other because it's uh, it just kind of going through for those that have never played to see and how much fun the playing wiffle ball really is. In fact, if you're ready, we can play some wiffle ball even right on this table if uh, you want. <laughs> you know, I, I I had a big lunch at Rotary today and I'm ready to take a nap here. The only thing keeping me awake is talking to you and the other guests that I have. But um, wiffle ball is actually in my in my in my arena. I yeah. I'm not an athlete. I never was. I never liked gym class. I was just telling the <laughs> previous guest that I managed the swim team at Brockton High School just so I didn't have to go to gym class. And that's right. where I met Perry. Oh, she hi, was Perry the Jacobs. diver sure, sure. On, the, on the girls' swim that's team, right. and, and, and Mark O'Reilly, and, right. and Brendan O'Neill, and everything. Yeah, and my dad, right. you, my dad used to swim laps in the pool. See? He swam laps in the pool with Claire Appling. She was a swimmer. She, it's amazing. So this is kind of turned into, it's, it's, it's a pretty much all-day event. It is an all-day event. Um, but that's why the first year we had it, we started it early, and that didn't provide a lot of people who get a lot of their errands done and they're going to the bank and doing all these things that they need to. So the registration starts at, I want to say at um, 10 o'clock, it goes mm -hmm. to 1130. And right at 1130, we're going to do this 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 um, little bit of a, of a, of a pre-tournament, um, you know, just a little bit of a play about what we do. It is... Um, it is a, a double elimination. So once if you lose your first game, you're not out. You have to play again. Mm -hmm. um, the there is a cost um, for this, and um, but it is it equates to about like ten dollars a person to come play wiffle ball on on the field. Um, we do have rules mm -hmm. um, because some people take it a little bit more competitively than others. Mm -hmm. um, but we make sure that I walk around and I walk around with my bat and tell them to behave and tell them to make sure that it's fun. Um, if you do um, make it to the final, um, that uh, it does, it, it, it can be a few hours by the time we're done. Last year, I believe that we got done about 5 6 o'clock. So it's... A, it's and you it's, always have good weather. Uh, we almost have good weather, yeah. um, but um, somehow away, we've got special intervention from above that blows that bad storm away. It is rain or shine, but it's not a rescheduled date. Right. Um, we, in addition to those, um, the, the cost for become playing as a team, um, we have prizes that we give away for T-shirts and best team name um, or, or the best costume. People dress up. 
They wear some great costumes along the way. Mm -hmm. um, I, each one of the teams give Casey and I a t-shirt and, and eventually I think we're going to be making quilts out of those and donate them to local um, cool. shelters just so they know that we're thinking of them. Um, all proceeds from this event um, go toward to all proceeds. There is nothing that gets skimmed off in terms of right. um, administrative costs or anything. It all goes towards scholarships, scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, and local donations. Um, we've supported the Brockton Youth Soccer and Rick Savignano has the POPs where it's working with the um, Best Buddy program mm -hmm. and doing a, a, a soccer program. So we made we made a donation because he needed equipment. Mm -hmm. um, and so it goes toward that. We make a donation to the um, Boys and Girls Club and the right. and, and the Mark O'Reilly um, Camp Umeka that a number of our Brockton residents attend. Um, you name it. The event that I was at with you recently the um, Hope Fund. The Hope Fund. Yeah, for the for the cancer patients, right. um, we we support that um, event as well. It it is we we did very well last year. It was we have a program book, so there's sponsorship opportunities. It's all on our website, um, justcheckingin.org. Right. Um, and I have all the best part about all of this is I have all my nieces and nephews, John's nieces and nephews, but they're mine as well. Um, who are the social media gurus. If you see anything on yeah. Facebook, it's Shannon yeah. Um, yeah. Belanger. Shannon handles it, the web, the, um, the Facebook page. Um, Casey, who's a marketing major right. at Suffolk University, she's working the Twitter and, and the Instagram. The Instagram. Right. Um, and then uh, John's brother Mark's daughters, um, Kathleen and Elizabeth, are working the website for me. You know, and then I've got John's brother in Poland, and you know, he's, so he's not able to be here. Although this year he's going to be here with his family oh, wow. um, and participating with the team. And um, but he's he's you know, internet is internet; it's worldwide. It so he's worldwide. able to help out with with things as well, and looks over the rules for me and makes some changes. So we've got some great sponsors in addition to the Brockton Community Access. Um, we have the um, Brockton Rocks as well as the Shaw Center. Um, sign design. Um, we were able to do this big green big monster yep, with with yep, with yep. Um, the the John Waldron name on it, and then on deck sports, which provides us all the equipment that we need. And um, it's it really is a great community event. I can't tell you within the last. So now that everybody knows, that's why this um, show is going to be pretty important. Is that people will know that it's looming. Literally, like I've got to take a couple days off from work. Um, Bridgewater State University, Fred Clark is going to be the new president at, at uh, Bridgewater State University. There. He has his, uh, he has a team coming in. He's, he was mad at me last year because I didn't tell him about it. But I, but this year he yeah, said he's he in. Yeah, so it's a family event. It can be a corporate um, team building event. I mean, people use it for all these different things. And if you don't play, there is no charge in coming in. So right. you can become a spectator Absolutely. and walk around and really participate. We have raffle prizes, and um, and this year Will uh, Criollo, uh, Will is um, doing a photo booth, okay. and then you can go and take some pictures and then have it be posted online already. Let me just summarize. I know. They blah blah blah. The, they gave me the they gave me the high side. <laughs> so it's Saturday, July twenty fifth. Registrations ten to eleven thirty. Go to the website at justcheckingin.org. There is a cost. Facebook just checking in with hyphens between the checking in and Twitter and Instagram at right. just checking in in 54. That's correct. Okay. That's right. So best, one of the best causes all goes to charity. Like you said, no skimming off the top. And Mary, it's Come on, all we're going to take a, a hit, right? Okay. As ready? long as it doesn't hit the camera. <laughs> ready, go for ready? It. Oopsie. Okay. Oops. <laughs> But this is the last time. Yay! There you go. Okay, Mike almost got it. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks, uh, Mark. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.